Uh, you never know. I might be able to. So this is the screen in question. Um, so what I have to do is I have to solve this puzzle. Yep, we're fine. Okay, cool. Oh, I solved this puzzle. I solved this puzzle incorrectly. Oh, you're a jerk. Can you stop? I did this puzzle wrong. So we're, we're fine as long as I can actually solve the puzzle correctly. Which is like this. Can you not? Okay, here's my whip upgrade. There are two ways to get into this whip upgrade. One is the correct way, and one is the incorrect way. Uh, apparently, I can't do the incorrect way, so we're going to go do it the correct way. Which is by dropping down here. See that ladder? That ladder. Ow. Hello, whip upgrade. Okay, so now I have the chain whip. Which does twice as much damage as the last one did. Also, hi, Dad. Hi, Grandfather. Uh, yeah, they don't really want L Lumiza to know they're here. Because this is kind of her assignment, and they're here to kind of... Uh, so, Lumiza, Lumeza, and Sean. Uh, Lumeza's her dad. Sean is her grandfather. Um, Lumiza, Lumeza, and Sean are all archaeologists. They also happen to be ninjas. Um, and they're all fascinated with, uh, with this place. Um, so, Lumiza is the one who handled the, uh, the last instance of La Mulana. When, when you know, the, the last time La Mulana was a problem, uh... Uh, Lumeza is the one that kind of dealt with it. Well, now it's Lumeza's turn, but they're kind of here to help her out, give her assistance wherever possible. But also, they want their share of, like, the glory of discovering what's going on here. Okay, so now we're in the Ice Fire treetop. Uh, this is an area that I'm not really supposed... Well, it's not that I'm not supposed to be in here. Um, it's that... I'm supposed to come into this area from a completely different direction. Uh, nope. Nope. So I'm supposed to come into the Ice Fire treetop through the roots of Yggdrasil. The problem is, in order to go through the roots of Yggdrasil, I have to go uh, through uh, Nidhogg, and Nidhogg is an asshole. Uh, so I don't want to deal with him. So we're going to go the back way into the Ice Fire treetop, and we're going to get some other prizes. So remember, everything I'm doing right now, and all basically everything I'm doing for the remainder of the stream, is all with the point and purpose... Of, um, killing bosses faster. So, some things I may need to do, though, in order to kill bosses faster, I may need to get items that are not directly related to those bosses. You know, I might, ne I might need to get items that allow me to easier access other items. Why are you in the way? I want that grail point, and I can't have it, and it upsets me. So what I'm doing uh, right now is I'm just kind of going through these various uh, areas at the moment. Um, and the big things that I'm really doing right now is I'm just kind of, uh... Excuse me. I threw 
shurikens at you, dude. That sucks. I also have that problem with Steam sometimes. So what I'm looking for, I'm looking for some health upgrades, uh, and I'm looking for various items that allow me to solve some puzzles. There we go. I'm also looking for access to various areas. And going here gives me access to the Ice Fire Treetop, and more importantly, the Ice Fire Treetop Grail. Oh, hey. Hi, Surter. How's your day going? Uh, time to leave. That's a boss in the background. I won't be fighting him for quite some time. You're expecting me to die a lot more? I mean, we have not been fighting some of the really tough bosses. Okay, so where am I going to go now? So I think we're going to go to the Divine Fortress. So I have access to the Ice Fire Treetop. The problem is, while I have the Ice Fire Treetop Holy Grail Point, I can't actually use it yet. And this is because uh, the Ice Fire Treetop is considered to be a backside area. And you have to have a special combination of software to access backside areas. Which I don't currently have. So, let's see about getting some special combinations of software. Okay, real reason we came in this direction. Um, I wanted to activate this pedestal over here. Just opens this up. Makes my life easier. Okay. I don't know why I'm bothering to do that. I can't do anything in there. Okay, we're not going to do too much in the Immortal Battlefield. Uh, there really isn't actually much for me to do here at the end of the day in the first place. Uh, but most stuff I have to do here is not stuff I can do until significantly later. Make sure to activate that. We want to go to that left side exit, but I might as well go over here while I'm here. Oh, whoops. Hey, Valkyrie, can you stop sending souls to the dead at me, please? I would greatly appreciate it. It's annoying. I believe this is a health upgrade right here, if I remember correctly. Yep. So, just like that, we're up to 96 health. Uh, nothing I can do up here. I don't think there's anything I can do right there, either. That's holy. Don't whip that. I'm in a Valkyrie costume. You shouldn't be angry at me. You should like me. Ow. Okay. Oh, hey, we have monies. I didn't realize how much money we have right now. God, I wish I had something to do with all this money. Okay. So, now that we have... We've basically done everything we can in the Immortal Battlefield. There's really not much 
um, that I can do in this area at the moment. This is more of a, like, a bunch of stuff to do later on in the game. So instead, we're going to go through here, and we're going to go into Valhalla. I've got stuff I can do in Valhalla. Okay. First, I can go in here. Yoink. Map. Ow. Stop that. What's the max health you can get? Uh, 320, I think. Okay, let's go heal real quick. And then we're going to come back. So, there, there's a fair amount of health you can get in this game. I want to say every every major zone has a health point. Maybe it's like less than 320. Maybe it's 290, uh, 298. Now, unfortunately, once again, I cannot teleport into Valhalla right now. Um, Because, again, Valhalla is a backside area. So the only way I can get back to Valhalla is by going all the way back to the Immortal Battlefield. Or, sorry, uh, the uh, Divine Fortress. Not that big of a deal, thankfully. Because I've opened up all the shortcuts now. Uh, 320 definitely feels like a lot of health. It won't feel like a lot of health later on in the game. When, when things are chunking me for like 200 damage a hit. Okay. Now, not going to fall down that gap. I cannot trip that seal for a long time. Now, this is going to be a gap I'm going to end up falling down in a second. I don't want to, but I don't have much of a choice because I need what's down here. So, say hello to some to some people's favorite shopkeeper in the game. It's the Bargain Duck. Okay. Say goodbye to the Bargain Duck. Oh, gee, I didn't. I didn't say it earlier because I was actually not at the computer when you did it. But thank you for uh, thank you for hosting, man. I appreciate it. Um, and look, another prize. This time we get Caltrops. Okay, we are. Uh, Awfully close to fighting another boss. Oh, also, future development company. So I just got a new piece of software that I completely did not uh, talk about. So future development company. These are all software that I can turn on and they do stuff. The problem is they all take memory space. Future development company allows me to teleport to backside areas. That's one of the major reasons why I came here kind of as fast as I could because I wanted that item. Well, that's a boss. Can't do anything about him for a long time. Oh, hey, look, here's Loki. Hi, Loki. Bye, Loki. Okay. We are almost done in uh, Valhalla, actually, for, for the time being. I've got some other stuff to do here, but not now. 
But before that... We'll be, we'll be coming back uh, to Valhalla really quick. I've just got some other stuff to do before I actually fight the boss in Valhalla. Messing with Loki was part of setting up the boss for Valhalla. Uh, did I not? I am a hundred percent sh- Oh, god damn it. Did I not read the Icefire Treetop Grail point? It did get filled. The graphics are just kind of weird in that section. The fact that I cannot get this grail point is continuing to bother me. Forget what you have to do to actually go in there. Oh. Is that it? Hold up. So the next boss we kill is going to give me an item that causes me to not take poison damage in water. So this poison damage is not going to be a thing we, la we deal with for long. There we go. Now I can teleport to this spot. This spot. Excuse me. And that's actually a spot you teleport to. Ow, a lot. So I'm glad that we got that. God, I'm just going to be... Oh, dear. Okay. Welcome back. I almost died. So I got a couple more things I want to do. Um, Yeah, just I'm in lava. Yeah, we're not going to talk about that. I've got more things I want to do before we face another boss. I've got a couple more zones we have to explore. Uh, but we are rapidly reaching the point where until I beat a boss, I can't do anything else. You're a jerk. And my jump was bad. That was a bad jump. Okay. So we're going to go to the Ice Fire Treetop. Can I kill the Rastoska or Dragon? Um, so the Dragon that I don't want to fight will give me access to uh, a different section of the Ice Fire Treetop. I will eventually need to deal with him. I'd like to get a little bit stronger first. Because he is a fairly uh, strong... Um, oh, God. Damn it. Jumping physics is a little bit weird sometimes. He is fairly strong. Um, so I do want to uh, be a little bit stronger. I want to get uh, probably one more health thing before I deal with him. Thankfully, I think I can access the health thing in the Ice Fire Treetop. So I want to do that. Um, the uh, Ratatosker gives me access to the second half of... Um, It gives me access to the second half of Onovan. Not even half. It gives me access to a second area in Onovan. Um, which will give me access to uh, various items. Uh, things like that. Useful, but not necessary. You go away. Cool. It's not something I need right now, because that section of Onovan is only really useful um, 
if you are going after the boss, and I'm not going after that boss yet. I'm going after the boss of uh of Valhalla next. Which is not gonna take me very long to get to. We're we're gonna see that boss before the end of this stream. No, stay away from me, bats. Perfectly thrown shuriken. Okay. No! Damn it. I mean, on the plus side, I got 100 gold out of that. On the minus side, I missed my jump. That jump sucks so much. Like, it's, it's got, uh, the game has those kind of physics where if you, um, if you fall off, but like, if you're on the very edge, it's too easy to fall off without getting your jump. The good news is, this particular boss that I'm going to be dealing with gives me access to a lot of things. There we go. So this boss gives me access to a lot of things. Uh, the, the game opens up in a big way once I deal with this next boss. Okay, apparently I just didn't read this tablet last time I was here. Uh, I didn't make the jump. That's fine. We're just gonna wait. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, that's irritating. Oh, we're leaving. Okay, so I did open up that chest. That chest contains the map. I don't really need the map. Um, I would just like to have it. Okay. So, uh, I am reasonably sure that because of the efforts I have already put in, I can now... No! I'm reasonably sure I can now go get my second seal. Which is on the left-hand side. It's behind those spikes. Okay. This is god awful. So I need all of these enemies to be dead. Uh, n I can't actually do that yet. Why can't I do that yet? What am I missing? Oh, I have the wrong. Okay, never mind. Cannot do that. I got the order wrong. Okay, what else? Is there anything else I can do prior to just dealing with Valhalla? Actually, I don't think so. I think I might be at a point where I have to fight a boss. I 
I might be at the point where I have to fight a boss. I might have actually done everything I can do. Uh, I have to double check, though, because I think there may be, like, one set of things I can do at this point. We're going to go check. I got to kill that guy in gold. Okay. And now we're going to go deal with the Corridor of Blood. The Corridor of Blood is kind of a back area. It allows me to get to some areas I'm not supposed to really be in yet. Like the Shrine of the Foss Giants. Not really much I can do here. There is a uh, really obnoxious sub-boss past the next... Um, Past that next screen, and he's really kind of a annoying to beat. And I don't really have a, a good way to beat him. So we're not going to try. We're going to move on. And instead, we're going to come over here to Ancient Chaos. Which, as much as I hate to say this, is also one of those areas that I do not have really much in the way of ability to do anything here. We're only here for a couple of different reasons. Um, I'm getting some money out of these pots. Which is going to go for good causes. Um, I'm also mapping some stuff out. But we're really just kind of continuing to cycle through uh, the uh, Quarter of Blood. Why was that chest open? That was another outfit chest. That was the other outfit I have. Uh, the ch outfit chests are... There's only a couple of them in the game. And uh, they require keys to open. And, uh, unfortunately, I don't know... I, I got two keys so far. I don't know how to get the other two keys. Okay, Corridor of Blood Part 3. Again, not really much I can do here. I would really like to go to that spot right there. The one that's behind the you will die if you come anywhere near this laser. But I can't. We're not actually doing much in the Hall of Malice right now. I'm going to be leaving very, very quickly. But there's a couple of things that if I don't do them now, they could potentially be missable. And I would like to not do it. Or I'd like to not miss them. Most of them are various glossary entries. There it is. Knock that out. That's something I'm not going to need for, oh my god, a large amount of time. Okay, 
Okay, there's a very high chance I could die up here. I need to make sure this dinosaur wasn't in the way. No! Damn it. Gotta go back in there. That, uh, that pot contains a crap ton of money. 